Okay, I'm here at uh, Airbus in Toulouse with Airbus experimental test pilot Frank Chapman, who's looking forward to the first flight of the, the new Airbus A350. Um, Frank, tell us, tell us about it. What, what, are you, what are you excited about? Well, of course, it's just come out the, uh, the final assembly line, and uh, at the moment we're carrying out uh, our final checks and verifications of, uh, of obviously aircraft systems and uh, flight test instrumentation. Um, it shouldn't be long before uh, before first flight, so but we want to make sure, obviously, it's in, a, in as good a technical state uh, as we can uh, prior to uh, prior to that first flight. And obviously, flight test isn't just get, get in there, kick the tyres, and light the fires, and away you go. It's, it's incremental. So tell us, walk us through the sort of steps. Well, the steps certainly for first flight are, are that we we start really very much in the middle of the envelope, and as you say, uh, it's a very much an incremental approach. So the first flight, the takeoff will be in the in the direct law without the high order flight control uh, systems uh, engaged. Uh, once we're up at uh, a reasonable altitude, so around about 10,000 feet at uh, about 200 knots in the takeoff configuration, then we can start to uh, uh, start to, to, to really get to, to know the aeroplane, how, how it feels, how it handles, uh, and then we'll start to make configuration changes with the flaps, the gear, uh, and once we're feeling a little bit more confident, we'll engage the flight control computers and have the first look at the uh, normal flight control laws. Okay, and then, then after that, after the first flight, how long will this flight test campaign last? Well, it should last just over a year, all being well. We have five test aircraft that will be running the programme. So it's, uh, it's quite a condensed and, uh, and challenging uh, task to certify in, the, in a little over a year. Um, but with five aircraft and all the, uh, the pre-first flight testing that's been going on on the aircraft, zero systems, gear, high lift, uh, we've got a simulator connected to uh, to an Iron Bird, of course, and the uh, and simulated generators with high, uh, with uh, electrical load benches. We're in a pretty good uh, state of maturity to uh, anticipate that we should uh, achieve what we uh, we set out to achieve, assuming we don't have any uh, major surprises along the way. And, and obviously, you've flown the aircraft in in, in the sim. So, uh, how does she handle? It's very nice. Um, the, it, it's very similar in many respects to the 330 in terms of uh, handling. Uh, the flight control architecture is slightly different in that uh, there are, we, we obviously learn, learn a lot as we go on. It's a long time since we introduced the 320 with the first uh, fly-by-wire system. Uh, but there's a lot more levels of redundancy in the architecture for 350. So, uh, uh, so that's the major change really. But from a handling perspective, there, there are only minor differences really from 330. Okay. And, and you know, obviously it's a good-looking aircraft. So uh, does the does the, the thing, if it looks right, it flies right, will it still still hold? Absolutely. You're going to see the aeroplane this afternoon, and certainly it does look right. And uh, we do hope that it will fly right as well. Excellent. Thanks for much your time. That's my.